Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the detailed recipes channel. Turkish tantuni will be made in this video. One kilogram of fatty beef to make tantuni. Two garlic cloves. 20 grams of rock salt. Two tablespoons ground red pepper. Half a glass of oil. Tomatoes, onions, and green peppers. An iron sheet like this is used. Baking lavish breads with the back side, roasting meats with the inside. One bowl of water for lavish dough. With the same size bowl, three bowls of flour, will not be too full. Dry yeast, sugar, and salt. Some olive oil. Boiling water will be used to wash meats and pressure cooker will be used for pre-cooking. First, stir in boiling water for 5 minutes to remove meat from blood. Remove meats from boiling water and do not use this water. Add the meats to the pressure cooker, add salt and garlic, add plenty of water. Cover the pressure pot lid and cook for at least one hour. While the meats are being cooked, on the other hand, prepare the lavish dough. Add olive oil, yeast, sugar and salt to the plastic container. Add a full bowl of water, the water should be slightly warm. Stir until the yeast sugar and salt dissolve. First add one bowl of wheat flour and mix. Add second bowl, mix. When you add the third bowl, you should start kneading by hand. If you fill the bowls too much, the flour will be too much, as here. In case of excess flour, knead the dough by adding water. You can knead the dough by wetting your hand. Make dough balls by hand after you have a smooth dough. You can prepare doughs of 130 grams with the kitchen scale. Sprinkle flour on the bottom of a tray and lay out the dough spaced. The dough will stand until other ingredients are prepared. Finally chop the onions. Finally chop the green peppers. You can mix onions and peppers together. If you are going to make tantuni without onions, do not mix it with peppers. Finally chop the tomatoes. You can also add parsley to the chopped ingredients. The meats should be soft enough, one hour has passed but seems insufficient. The yeast of the dough is in good condition. As you can see the dough is swollen. Add some flour and roll out the lavish bread dough with a rolling pin. Mm. 
lavish breads will be this iron hair size. Click the bell icon to get notification of the newest videos, turn on notifications. The iron plate is placed upside down on the stove and the lavish bread will be baked. After the dough is added, it is turned over and cooked in one or two minutes. Lavish breads cooked in an iron are placed in a cloth cover. These breads should be kept in a bag together with a cloth so that they do not dry. Meats cooked for 1 hour and 15 minutes. Lots of oil is added to the iron hair. Remove meats without water, this broth of meat will be used to soak bread. Add meats and fry for 3 minutes. Add some salt and paprika. Mix. Add broth, cover and boil a little, let it melt a little. Take the lavish bread and press it on the meat, moisten the bread a little with broth. Lots of meat is added to the bread. Meat broth is added into the meat and the lid is closed again. Tomato, pepper, and onion are added. If available, parsley can be added. You can add thyme, cumin, and your favorite spices. Wrap the lavish bread. It looks ready to serve now. Each bread contains 200 grams of meat. Hearty and tasty for one person.
510 tuni prepared in total and should be served without cooling. I want to divide it in half and show it to you. It is consumed with Tantuni Aran, a traditional Turkish street food. Click the bell icon to get notification of the newest videos, turn on notifications. Thanks for watching, see you in the new video.